Oh, what's up, guys? We are back up with another episode, man. Your boy De'Aaron Campbell, fresh and true freshman season here at Georgia. In the first game we are going against Clemson. Now, of course, we got a big road ahead of us. <laughs> we playing in the SEC. Lee Corso is rolling with us, and as you can see, we are third string. We got a junior and a senior ahead of us. It's a long grind. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a long grind. I believe I'm gonna probably stay all four years, but I'm not hundred percent sure. That all falls on y'all, whether y'all want to see more videos or more content. Now, these are his stats. Feel free to pause the screen. Didn't want to do it, overdo it too much. You know what I mean? He's only going to get better throughout the years. So, like I say, just take a quick look at it. I didn't want to go too crazy with the stats. And, you know, it is what it is. But prediction conference outlook, they got us finished behind Alabama. Texas a and they wish they was predicted to finish that high. But here on our first practice, it's a long road ahead of us. This is not high school. This is the next level. As you can see, we are struggling a little bit to fight off blocks. And we only going to get better. We make our first college tackle. Of course, it's in practice, but, you know, we can live with that. And Stetson Bennett tries to take off when we getting up getting a sack. As you can see, we just continue to do what we do. Like I said, we got a long road ahead of us. We willing to learn to put in them hours and, you know, just to make our, our, you know, be better. But we are down by three against number four. Clemson, Stetson Bennett, make a, he made a couple plays with his legs, picked up a first down, 20 seconds left, first and 10. That pass is caught by Brock Bowers, I believe. First and 10, 17 seconds left. We got one timeout. And that pass is complete to the wide receiver first down. Jackson, I don't know if they don't trust the kicker. But 30 inches to try to tie the ball game up. But Kirby Smart and they decided to try for a Hail Mary. And we end up losing that game by three. Heartbreaking loss. Another practice. We trying to get on the field. And what if he blew up that play in the backfield? Like I said, the grind is going to continue. And we, we cannot remain at the third string. These kids are too talented. Second game, we end up whooping ass and taking names against South Carolina. We finished the season 10 and 2, 7 1 in conference. And our only losses came against Clemson first game, and we went on a winning streak. Auburn had to go and mess that up. But Alabama ended up, ended up going undefeated in the season. And we finished 10 and 2, number 8 in the college football playoff ranking. You got Miami, which still ranked that high, Oklahoma, and, and Louisville. But as you can see, just showing y'all, bro, not one single tackle, sissy tackle, nothing on the season, bro. Freshman season. We want to grind our way to the top. And I feel like that's a good way. Now, before we get into the SEC championship game, we definitely want to practice. Definitely be on our P's and Q's. We made a good play. The very first play, the second play, we end up, bro, we want to impress the coaches. But this play right here pretty much ended our freshman season. Down he goes. But that's not the way you want to end your freshman season. We had to watch from the sidelines. We are down by seven steps have been and trying to make something happen. And, you know, they up by two scores, third and five steps have been in the boys. They really trying to make a comeback third and six. And Brock Bowers in the corner of the end zone. They tried to make it a game. This is where champions made up, bro. If we score a touchdown and kick the extra point, we win the game and pick six that pretty much sealed the game and i literally watched from the sideline i instantly knew that it was gonna be picked when he picked 60 i knew our chance was done but that's not the way that you want to end the season we end up losing 28 to 33 but chick-fil-a bowl here we come against pittsburgh and lee corso is rolling well, we got a fairly good team they got a pretty decent team but of course, once again, I got to watch from the sidelines. It's not the way that you want to end your freshman season. Miami versus Alabama in the national championship game. And I'm rolling with Alabama on this one. And we end up winning that game, beating uh, Pittsburgh 24-10. to 10. Outback Bowl, Michigan, end up beating Mississippi State, Rose Bowl, USC big over Michigan State. USC doing some good things. PlayStation Fiesta Bowl, Wisconsin end up beating Louisville. The Sugar Bowl, Oklahoma end up beating Texas A&M by 10. Cotton Bowl, Ohio State beat Kansas State. And Tulsa ranked number five when they beat UCF. 
Here are the final standings. Air Force at 10, us at 9. Ohio State at 8. Michigan State at 7. You got Wisconsin at 6. Tulsa is sitting at number 5. Got Miami end up losing the national championship game. USC, Oklahoma, and Alabama. As I said once again, that's not the way that you want to end your freshman season. But it is what it is. Part of the game. But here are the... Before getting into the second season, here are the stats. Nolan Smith had a one hell of a season going out. Tackles for loss, total tackles, solo tackles. Jalen Carter led the team with four sacks by Nolan Smith through it three. And everybody else, two and a half, three sacks. You know, these are Steven Sack, McCockney had 950, 951. Mitchell, 657. Jackson, 638 and two scores. Brock Bowers, I feel like the CPU definitely need to get that kid more involved. Kenny McIntyre, the senior, over 1,300 yards, 10 scores. Milton nearly cracked the century mark with 969 and 8 scores. Passing-wise, Stetson Bennett, 31, nearly 3,200 yards. The senior and Gunnar Stockton, we definitely wanted to get him more reps. So we should see how the quarterback position plays out next year. Preseason game, start of sophomore season. Here are the top 10. They got us ranked coming at number 5. On the USC, Ohio State, Oklahoma, and Alabama is ahead of us. So this year, bro, we, we definitely have to, you know, we come back with a vengeance. And we are playing at home against Clemson once again. You know, last year they beat us. We didn't get a chance to play in that game. But this is a new year. We already up by seven. Bro, we here to make our name for ourselves. We want to stamp our name in, you know, in UGA history. Good return. We're going to check out the flag, and it's definitely clipping in on them, so back it up. We end up scoring again. It's 14-7 ball game. Now, we all don't kick off a turn do this, but like I said, we want to grind our way into that starter position. I feel like that's the right way to do it, and once we get to that point, it definitely will be uh, more appreciated that we fought our way and grinded our way to the top. Well, fourth and five, they have to punt. Bro, we own that. Bro, we own that shit. Let's go. We own that. Now, offense stalls out again, 14-14 ball game, bro. You, you smart enough to call that fair kids. And they are up by three. This night, we cannot lose back-to-back -back season to the same team. We cannot. And we get in on our first tackle. Y'all see the knee braces on his knee. First and 10, we get some reps. Kirby Smart say, hey, Let's see what this kid can do. Well, you're going to throw him in there in the eight. The coaching staff definitely decided that we are down by three start of the fourth quarter. Second and six. We just got to get used to, you know, being out here on the field. This is our first time out here on the field. Other than practice, so. Good containment by our defense. Third and ten. We are very comfortably, but you just never know. Oh, Heisman. You, you, you got to play to the end of the whistle. Bro, he trying to take out our knees once again. Like I said, once this knee braces off, I feel like this kid going to be a lot more explosive. And what a throw and what a catch. The speed is there. But not like back to 100%. At this point, he probably 85, 90%. But first and 10, bro, who, you, you helped your teammate. You definitely, that would have been our first tag in it. Dropped interception that could have officially ended the game. 24-38. It feels good to get, really get out here on the field other than practice. It's, it's just a different feeling when, you know, you had to sit out your freshman season. And it, it's just, it's heartbreaking, man. But it's all part of the game. And we nearly get another, well, not another, our first career sack. First and goal. Bro, this, this quarterback is dying his defense up, bro. But like I say, things will change when we are in a starter rotation. And he ended up throwing it away second and goal. We playing zone cover. That's why I say, man, we we definitely, damn, he got his ass blew up. But like I said, we did not want to be a, play a true defense end. We want to be the edge rusher, you know, blitz. But, you know, play a little bit here and there, you know, man cover, zone covers. But that's all we got, man. It's your boy CRE, and we gone. The tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret, everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.